another trait of um, pioneers is they tend to be um, very inventive and they're good at understanding how things work. And as you can see, Milo, this is my little work shed and uh, one of about half a dozen Stirling engines that I've tried to build that I'm slowly working on. I remember when I was a kid, I used to fix up toasters and lawnmowers and charge people money to um, make a little living out of it. And I was always very good at just looking at things and understanding how they worked. And it's very interesting that Milo will be exactly the same. People ask me, uh, why did you become a physicist? The fact of the matter is, I never wanted to become a physicist. I uh, wanted to be a fix-up man. When I was a kid, I always fixed things. The neighbors had little pieces of machinery, uh, electric irons, toasters. They would bring them to me and I would fix them and I charged them a nickel each. And I, I got to like this. So as I grew up, I wanted to know how everything works. I went through high school, read every copy of Popular Science and Popular Mechanics <laughs> in the you? library. I even had them go out and get the old stacks for me. I wanted to know how everything works. Naturally, I, I studied engineering. I didn't really want to be an engineer. I didn't want to build dams. I didn't want to work in a chem lab. I just wanted to know how to fix things. And I realized that industry was making machines a lot faster than I could learn them. And it was hopeless. I could never learn how to fix everything. I decided I would just narrow my horizon, my goals, and I would just study the basic things of science, and that's physics.